Have you been manspreading on the bus? Pocket dialed anyone lately? Don't worry, Anglophenia is here to help. Well, help you work out what all these crazy new words mean. There's really very little we can do about pocket dialing. With the year 2015 nearly at a close, I thought we could take a look back at some of our favourite words and phrases that have peaked in popularity during this year, and have even officially made it into the Oxford Dictionaries online, where they are constantly keeping an eye on our language, how we use words, and publishing the ones that are most commonly used. So some might be completely new, and others might be oldies that have seen a surge in use, or simply given new meaning. If you're wondering how to use up that Z for maximum points in your next game of Scrabble, then stick around. Actually, talking of sticks, selfie stick. Okay, wait a sec, let me take a selfie. Oh, I missed out part of my face again. If only there was a way to extend my reach. Oh, wait a sec, there is. I'm honestly not even sure how we operated before the selfie stick existed. With the growing popularity of taking selfies, aka pics of ourselves, so too grew the demand of a better framed, wider shot that actually showcased our location, not just part of one's forehead. The word selfie was Oxford Dictionary's word of the year a couple of years ago, but now it's just so 2013. Selfie stick, on the other hand, has soared in popularity thanks to social media. We can now see where all our friends have been thanks to their constant selfie updates on Instagram. But this has also led to a serious rise in FOMO. That's fear of missing out. Awesome sauce! Why describe something as being excellent when you can now use the word awesome sauce? Smother that stuff everywhere if you can. The opposite is weak sauce, and this term came first to describe anything as being disappointing and as a play on words. I mean, nobody likes a weak sauce lacking in flavour, do they? Hoverboard. Yes, you've probably heard this word before, but after October 21st, 2015, the day Marty McFly and Doc Brown travel forward to in the movie Back to the Future 2 came and went, the word hoverboard saw a sudden resurgence, according to the Oxford Dictionary's new monitor corpus. Whilst hoverboards might not be as commonplace as we'd hoped by now, they do technically exist, just not in, well, hovering form. The board ridden by rapper Wiz Khalifa at Los Angeles airport recently before he was wrestled to the ground by police for refusing to disembark are actually hoverboards, but by name only. The word is currently registered as a trademark in the US and the UK by manufacturers of a Segway-style two-wheeled device which stays firmly on the ground. Roads! Yeah, where we're going we're still going to need roads. Man spreading. Whilst hoverboards are still a distant dream, we'll just have to stick to good old public transport to get around. Just please refrain from manspreading, okay? Some of you may have heard the term mansplain in recent years, but 2015 has brought us a far superior word, manspreading, which is used to describe when a man adopts a sitting position, often on public transport, that encroaches on the adjacent seats. I mean, can you think of a bigger faux pas? YouTuber. Used to describe a frequent user of the video sharing website YouTube, especially someone who produces and appears in videos on the site. So yes, I am a YouTuber. and proud of it. Other tech terms of 2015 included butt dial or pocket dial. We've all been there, right? That awkward moment when you accidentally dial someone's number by mistake while your phone is in your pocket and even worse if you're saying something terrible about them at the same time, like how you think your sister is such a dull and boring person. Mm. Hi, sis. Yeah, now's actually not a good time. Fablet. Seriously, who has a regular phone anymore? Trust me, it's 2015, guys, and let's face it, it's all about the phablet. A smartphone with a screen size that's bigger than a normal phone, but smaller than a tablet device. So no more pocket dials once you get one of these babies in your life. Not because of any special technology or anything, they just actually won't fit in your pocket. Mm. LOLs. Getting rid of the Z in Scrabble just got a lot easier, as LOLs is now officially accepted in Scrabble tournaments around the world, having recently been added to the Collins Scrabble Dictionary, along with more than 6,500 other new words, such as Bezzy, short for best friend, which will earn you 18 points, Checkbox, which will get you 28 points, and Emoji will boost your score by at least 14 points. LOLs is worth 13 and means laughing out loud at someone else's or even your own expense. But before the more traditional Traditional among you start thinking about how ridic this all sounds. That's short for ridiculous. Wait until you see Oxford Dictionary's Word of 2015.
That's right, for the first time ever, the Oxford Dictionary's word of the year is not even a word. Originally called the face with tears of joy emoji, it was chosen as the word that best reflected the ethos, mood and preoccupations of 2015. Kinda makes lols seem pretty normal now, right? Also, many say a picture can speak a thousand words, and when you're limited to only 140 characters on Twitter, emojis are the most economical and, let's face it, fun way to get our messages out there. Whilst the word emoji, meaning a small digital image or icon, has been around since the late 1990s, 2015 saw the use of the word and the use of actual emojis hit an all-time high. The face with tears of joy was the most used emoji globally in 2015, which I think is great. Shows we're all clearly having a good old lols about life. Collins Dictionary, on the other hand, chose the term binge watch for their 2015 word of the year. That's right, we can now watch all the episodes from our favourite shows back to back for as long or as often as we like. Want to watch all the other Anglophenia episodes right now? You can! Now if that is an awesome source, I don't know what is. What is your favourite word or phrase from 2015? And which emoji do you feel best sums up the year? Let us know in the comments or tweet us at Anglophenia. Head over to Facebook and like our page and remember to subscribe for more episodes. Thanks for watching, or should I say... Try not to manspread this one. You could watch that one on your phablet. This one is awesome sauce. Ha! This one is lols.